bearded fishermen, bearded hunters, bearded vegans, bearded teachers, businessmen, significant others, everybody is welcome in this positive community and positive channel. I am Dan C, your trusted teacher. I'll be joined by the most amazing wife and mother of my children, Sam C, in a little bit here. And today, we will be reviewing the company Mudcat Whiskers. And we have a bunch of different scents we're going to talk about. And also, what time is it? Giveaway! We're going to have a very simple giveaway to enter with three different winners today. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the very end to know how you can enter this giveaway. Thank you guys. Stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not to keep this channel growing and we keep the beards going. Company, a little bit about the Mudcat Whisker Company. First off, they are owned by Nicholas out of Louisiana, and he is an awesome guy. This journey to this review started about two or three months ago when Nicholas reached out to me and he said, hey, I got some products that I want to, you to try and let me know what you think. I'm actually planning on entering a beard oil competition and I don't know which one to put in, so let me know. So I said, sure, man. And he sent me out full bottles and a huge collection. It was amazing. And he never even hinted at a review. I've been using them, Sam loves them as they made an appearance in her top 10, which is super cool. And then just recently he contacted me and said, hey, I see you're doing all these giveaways for your subscribers. If you want any more giveaways, let me know and I can put my hat in that, in that ring. And I said, you know what, man, let's do it. Let's do a giveaway for you and I'll make a review. Awesome guy, awesome company. And his journey started when he was sick of spending so much money on razors and shaving cream and aftershave. And that was one of the biggest reasons for me too, is I hated shaving and I hated spending money on razors that I would use a few times and throw away. They were so expensive. So keep that in mind when you're buying beard products, at least you're not spending money on razors that you're throwing away. So he decided that he was going to grow out his beard. He went to a local farmer's market to try and get some beard oil. And instead of having that itchy, flaky skin, it was now just replaced with a greasy mess in his beard. So he created a company that would focus on quality ingredients that would absorb into your beard, smell amazing, and make you feel confident, which is really, really awesome. They also are huge into giving back to the community, whether it's giveaways, whether it's information, and especially charities. He loves giving back to charities. Every year he hosts a regional beard competition and all of the proceeds go to a different charity every year. So pretty awesome stand up guy, stand up company. I love supporting these great companies. We have too many amazing companies out there to worry about any of them that are not great, awesome owners and people because this community is so amazing. Mudcat Whiskers, one of the best companies out there as far as products, as far as ownership and giving back to the community for you guys. And this giveaway was all his idea. So make sure you drop him a line and say, hey, thank you. Price. I rate every company based on a one, two, or three dollar sign price rating. And the Mudcat Whiskers gets the best side of the two dollar sign price rating. They have amazing prices and are flirting with that one dollar sign. They're just not quite there on price. But this is one of the best prices for those small batch companies that I've ever seen. A one ounce oil ranges from either $10.95 up to $12.95. That is awesome. I would say the middle of the market average is $15 and they are well under that. Well under that and that is awesome. A two ounce balm goes for $12.50. Great deal again. Absolutely the very best side of a two dollar sign price rating. Hello, beardos. Hey, guys. <laughs> I brought in my beautiful wife, Sam C. And we're going to go over Mudcat Whiskers today. Normally, I have a scent edition where I go over them myself and then we get her take okay. on them. But we do have five different ones today, so we're going to do them together. You'll get the first impression and thoughts as the married couple bringing it to you live. All right, Sam. You think you lost your voice. Yeah. This is all scratchy. Yeah. I like it. I wanted to be manly, you know, so I was screaming last night to get ready for the video. Did it work? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Now, we 
Alligator District Water Polo Tournament this weekend, so I yell a lot. I got a yellow card. Did you? I did. I got a yellow That's card. That's goal. Yep. <laughs> I think if you get a red card, you get kicked out, you got to leave the building, so I always like to tread lightly there. I got my second yellow card of the season. That's cool. And we won, <laughs> so that was awesome. All right. Teaching these boys to get kicked That's out. right. That's <laughs> right. I, it's always positive. I just got to show my players that I fight for them. Oh, that's, that's the only nice. purpose of it. I don't like now to be I'm, negative. Now you're making it all sappy. Yeah, hey, but it's true. <laughs> it's true. Like, I don't try to get after the rest. I don't try to look ridiculous. I just have to show my team that I'm fighting for them. And it goes far. Yeah. All right. So we're going to start out with one that made Sam's top 10 list. And this is Mudcat Whiskers Leather. We're going to smell it first. And then I have kind of the scent profile written down. And I'll let her know what it is from there. Because these are very complex scents. None of these are just simple, oh yeah, that's whatever it is. Yeah. It's a lot of layers here. <laughs> All right, leather first. You smell, give the thoughts, and then I'll give mine. It is cologne. I definitely, definitely cologne. Um, that's it, folks. <laughs> Do you get, because Sam is a huge lover of the leather scent. Mm -hmm. Do you get a pure leather out of this? I don't get any leather. I don't actually. get a lot of leather either. Leather or leather? leather. <laughs> I get no letters because I do not know how to read <laughs> and I do not get a lot of leather. I don't get any leather. So what it says is it is leather with hints of cedar. Cedar? Cedar! Where? <laughs> So corny. Our son, oh, he, Jax, he's one and a half, and anytime he wants to go somewhere, we're like, Jax, where are you going to go? Dare. Dare. <laughs> so, see, Dare? Doesn't work. I don't get cedar either. Just a really nice cologne. Yeah. Super, super nice cologne. So, leather, one of Sam's absolute mm -hmm. favorites. All right, next one is Rain. Rain. R-A-Y-N-E. Rain. Rain. Like someone's name. Yes, exactly. Is it mint or? See, I didn't know either. And then you when I looked it this? up, when I looked it up, I was like, oh, okay, I get that. It is a barbershop with spice. So get that okay. frame. Mm -hmm. Barbershop with spice. Yes. It is. It is. It's crazy. You don't get it first, and then once it's explained, I did the same thing. I was like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. That it is. Exactly. It's like when you first smell yeah. it, it's like really clean smelling. Like I thought it was like eucalyptus. Right. But then when you smell it again. Yeah. And you have the notes. There's spice in and there. And it's so weird. Like I liked it when I smelled it at first, and then once I got the explanation of a barbershop with spice, I was like, Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's really good. <laughs> so I really, really Nailed like it. that. Yeah, that one's awesome. <laughs> All right, next up, being a history guy, we have Monroe. Monroe. Named after the president? Yes, yes. Do you know that for a fact? No, but I'm assuming. <laughs> I don't know many other Monroes. Maybe I it know, was his dog's name. I know Greg Monroe played for the Pistons. I'm assuming this was not named after a mediocre power forward, but I'm assuming it was the president Monroe. All right, give it a sniff. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What is that? Hmm. Yeah, it's not quite a cologne. It's got like some naturalness to it, I think. I like it and I hate it. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe the scent profile will help. We have black pepper. Okay. That's leather. why my nose like it's like yeah. tingling. Yeah. Okay. Leather. Patchouli. I do love some patchouli. And I had heard from a commenter, I should have looked this up, but I'm going to take their word for it because it's on the internet. It must be true that patchouli is a blend of scents that was used to mask the smell of corpses at funeral homes. Sam really likes funeral homes, anything creepy and stuff, so <laughs> it's pretty cool. And then the last two are musk and citrus. Musk is its own scent? I thought yeah. musk was... A like a profile of sex. It's just manly. Musk. Dirty manny. Ew. Sweaty. Ew. <laughs> Alright, so with that, black pepper, leather, musk, citrus, patchouli. Citrus? Yeah, it's the last thing. Oh. I 
think I get a little bit of that. I get that patchouli in there, definitely. I get the citrus. I don't really get any leather. Yeah. And I get some black pepper. I'm, I'm medium on okay. this one. Okay, medium on it. I can smell all of those scents in yeah. there, most of them. I agree. But I'm not sure if I like the way okay. that they work together. So first two, Sam really likes mineral medium. She doesn't hate yeah. it. And she would tell you. It doesn't smell like puke. All right, next one is Zydeco. 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 I feel like maybe these are all named after pets. Could be. I Get over here, Zydeco. Quit peeing in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> Zydeco. Okay, yeah. What is that? Okay. My brain's not working. Try to get right. Try to get okay. She was thinking about what I said. <laughs> Concentrate. <laughs> It is. I actually really, really like this. This is, is my favorite. Is it citrus? Is it like a orange or something? It is. So it is a cayenne, like cayenne pepper, mm -hmm. a little bit of spice, and then the fruit is called satsuma. Satsuma? No, well, satsuma. It's a Japanese tangerine. Okay. And it's so cayenne and then tangerine. Oh, I really like this. I don't get any cayenne. I get a little I get a little bit of cayenne in there. You know when you say a word and you like you're like, is this a word? Yeah, cayenne? I do that all the time. Cayenne. 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 Then you say it like ten times and it's you're even like, this worse. Can't be a yeah, word. this isn't real. <laughs> cayenne. 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 Because that's I feel like that's not how you say it. Yeah, cayenne. I know. Cayenne. Pepper? Sounds like a, cayenne a Japanese anime character. Cayenne! <laughs> <laughs> like Dragon Ball Z news oh new gosh. generation. Cayenne. I really like this. It does this. smell good. I don't get any of like spiciness. Mm. It just smells like a nice. That's my favorite. When I first smell it, I don't get, it's so crazy with these. I don't get the initial smell. And then once it's explained to me, I'm like, oh yeah, that's yeah, it. Right. It's crazy. All right. And then the last one we have today is black or Bayou black. And the reason why I saved this last is he is in a beard oil competition right now and he's made it to the final four. And this is the oil he submitted for that competition. Oh, really? That's yes. Cool. So we have that here. Ooh. That smells like a, like a nice candle. Yeah. Like a, Cause I don't like sweet candles. Yeah. So I say that in a manly way, I guess. Right. This is dark amber. Okay. Lavender. Yes. Earthy notes and vanilla. I like it. Ah, oh, I do too. That smells really good. I don't know if I've ever given this a fair chance. It's a good fall scent. Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah. This is going in beard tomorrow for <laughs> school. That's really nice. I could see this being a fall candle. Yes. Absolutely. One more time. Really I love good. It. I love the like earthiness oh. of it because it cuts out like the feminine lavender yeah. smell. Yeah. Guys, when you want some other oils, make sure you read the descriptions on the website because mm -hmm. they are true. You yeah, get it and you're really. like, oh yes, that is true. And it makes so much sense. I like, these are unique. Yeah, I like when companies put the description with like the exact thing because I'm like, yeah. you need that sometimes mm -hmm. to have your brain <clears throat> know what it is. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So obviously she likes them all. Mm -hmm. Monroe is probably both of our least favorites. Yeah. But still good. Still good. Awesome. Right. And he's got like 30 cents. Oh my gosh. I know. We, we need them we all. We must smell them. All of them. All of them. <laughs> all right. I so, hope that wins. That's a good one. Yeah. That's that, a great. This is a new one, you guys. Great smell. Bayou Black. This is really, really good. Yeah. This is beard tomorrow for sure. And this beard real estate doesn't come cheap. Like, I, there's a lot of people fighting this. Like, they they really got to speak to me on that shelf. And he's talking. He's talking. He's a jabber He won't shut up. <laughs> oh, gosh. Geez. And they give back to a lot of charities. Every That's year awesome. yeah. he goes to That's beard so competition awesome. and gives to a different charity every year and so stuff. Cool. So, really, really cool. All right. Cool. Mud cat whiskers. Mud cat whiskers. Love that. Oh, is it? A catfish. I thought it was a regular cat. <laughs> I liked you more when it was a cat. <laughs> she loves cats. 
All right. Well, thank you so much, Sam. You're this was a fun review. I hope you guys enjoyed the little <laughs> segment together there. All right, guys, stay tuned for the rest of the video and the giveaway. Feel. How do these products feel in my beard? Amazing. As I said, one of the purposes of this company was to develop products that did not leave your beard feeling greasy. I'll hear that from guys all the time. They'll say, hey, Dan C, trusted teacher, how do you deal with the greasiness in your beard? And I say, I just get the best companies. The best products does not leave your beard feeling greasy. If I run my fingers through my beard, I have no grease on my hands whatsoever. That is quality, quality products, and that's what Mudcat Whiskers does. Their quality products leave your beard feeling fresh, feeling clean, but definitely not greasy, definitely not any heavy weight to it. Their oils are a medium consistency, bordering medium thick. This is not a thin oil. It's a really nice styling oil and feels great in my beard. I've not had the chance to check out their balms yet, so I can't give you guys any feedback on that, good or bad. Hopefully in the future, I will be able to check those out. But the oils, absolutely awesome feeling beard. One of the best for absorbing and feeling healthy and amazing for your beard. Rebuy. Would I buy any of these products again or anything else from this company? Absolutely. I love these products. He has so many different oils and scents out there. I want to try them all. You guys know I'm a history teacher. I'm not a mathematician. I get trouble when I'm going over two hands. I can get up to 10 real easily. After that, whew, I'm in trouble on that whole counting thing. But I can tell you he has at least 20, 30 cents on the website right now, and they all sound amazing. He's just added in some new ones. I really would love to try those, and I definitely want to get my hands on some of the balm and experience everything this company has to offer. Absolute approval. Yes, I would rebuy and support this company wholeheartedly. And this is no affiliate link. This is no influencer fee, nothing. I just really like supporting great companies and great owners. As Maddox would say, what day is it? Giveaway day! We are going to have three winners today. A third place, a second place, and a first place. Third place is going to win a bottle of beard oil. Second place is going to win a combo of beard oil and a beard balm. And first place is going to win a combo of beard oil, beard balm, and a wood comb. Awesome! Ship to your house for free. The only thing you need to do is make sure you're a subscriber, number one. Number two, please hit the thumbs up on this video. Let's help get some more traction for that YouTube algorithm, some more bearded buddies get these videos suggested to them so they can see them. And number three, leave a comment down below. Going off of this company and their charity and how they love to give back, if you had the opportunity to give to a charity, name one charity that you would pick. That's it. That's all you got to do for this competition, for this entry into the giveaway. I'm going to do a random generator to keep it fair at the end. But you just need to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and then down below, if you had to pick one charity, let's say a company came to you and said, hey, you, Mr. Beard, I want to help you give back to a charity. Just name the charity and we're going to donate so much money to it. What is the one charity that you would pick? I'm really interested to hear all those positive things, and that's all you got to do to enter. So I'm looking forward to see which three winners get these awesome products. Thank you guys for your support. Keep giving back to this community. Please keep the positivity. I always say I teach middle school during the week. I don't like to deal with middle schoolers and drama on the weekends or at night. That's why I love this so much. When I do the live streams, I feel like I'm hanging out with my best buddies. The time goes by so fast. Sam is always blown away at the positive comments you guys leave on her Instagram, on our shirts. If you're ever interested, let us know about the shirts. So thank you so much, you guys. I love this community. I love you guys. Your beards are looking awesome. Dan C. Bearded, you guys have an awesome day, and good luck.